So for number 27, um, they want us to use the midpoint rule with n is equal to 5 between 0 to 1 um, to rotate the curve uh, y is equal to the square root of 1 plus x cubed around the y-axis. So we're rotating like so. So I've gone ahead and I've taken the interval from 0 to 1 and I've cut it up into 5 pieces. So it goes from 0 to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0.4 and so on. So that's exactly 5 pieces. But then it's asking us to evaluate it at the midpoint, right? So the midpoint is going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done here is I have put it in a table and I have evaluated the function at these midpoints. So um, the, these x's here, I guess, I guess maybe, it, let me just make this a little bit better. So this is the midpoint, midpoint x, and that's my f of x, right? Using the function y is equal to the square root of 1 plus x cubed. And so now the whole point here is that um, I'm going to take the midpoint, and the height is going to be defined by this f of x, right? So maybe I'm going to do it with different colors. So the first one is um, this one. So it's going to be in orange. And now I'm not really going to draw on my Y correctly, just because these are so close, it would be impossible to draw them. So I'm going to take some artistic freedom here. Um, but hopefully you guys can understand. So that is the first uh, the first height of this block is evaluated at 0 0.1, right? Um, the next one will do will evaluate it at 0.3. So at 0.3 is the square root of 1.027, so that's slightly bigger. And then we're going to extend through the whole interval, right? So it's going to be like this. Um, that's going to be the second one. And then the third is slightly bigger still. That's root 1.125, like this. Like so, that's the third one. Um, then we have the fourth block that goes between 0.6 and 0.8. That's evaluated at the um, evaluated at the midpoint. Maybe we'll do that in light purple. So that one is slightly bigger still because it's at root 1.343. So that goes like this, right? And lastly, we are going to have um, at root 1.729. So we're going to have it up here. That's the bigger one. So it's like we're taking, uh, we broke this from x is equal to 0 to 1. We broke it into five parts, and we evaluated the height of each of these blocks. Um, we evaluated them at the midpoint, right? So once we evaluate it, let's think about taking each of these blocks and revolving them about the y-axis. So the first block, when we revolve it, that block is going to give us a cylinder, right? It's going to give us a cylinder like this. And all we have to do is we have to find the volume of the cylinder. Well, this volume is the area times the height, right? Well, the area is going to be pi r squared. In this case, um, the, the radius is 0.2. Pi times 0 0.2 squared, and then times the height. Well, the height is the value of the function here, right? So the height is going to be square root of 1.001. .001. So that's the that's the first volume. Now let's talk about the second volume, uh, the second block when we revolve it. Well, this second block is going to be a cylinder, but this time it's going to have a hole in it, right? So it's going to have a hole in it because of that 0.2 chunk. So that one is going to be um, like this. And now let's think about um, what this volume is going to be. This volume is the volume of the area of the base times the height. So the height is going to be root 1.027. So this is going to be uh, root 1.027 times, well, the area here is going to be the bigger circle minus the smaller circle, right? So times pi. Um, the, the bigger radius is going to be 0 0.4 because it goes from 0 to 0 0.4. Um, I should, maybe let me put this outside, yeah. So that's pi times, um, 0 0.4 squared, right? Minus pi times, the other one is 0 0.2 squared. 0 0.2 squared, okay. We have, um... 
we have the green one. Let's think about, um, let me move on, and let's think about the other one, the purple one. Okay, so same thing, um, maybe I'm gonna draw it here. The purple one is gonna be the same idea. It is going to be a cylinder that has a hole drid drilled in like this. Um, all of that hole would be much bigger. Um, I just have not really calculated it, right? So this is going to be, uh, or I have not really like drawn it bigger in this case. Um, so the height is going to be the height of the function. So that's gonna be root um, one, two, five. Uh, sorry, that should be 1.125. 1.125, and the area of the base once more is going to be pi times r1, so that bigger radius, minus pi times r2, minus that small little circle. So it's going to be um, pi times the bigger radius, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 squared, minus 0 0.6 squared, um, minus pi, times 0 0.4 squared, okay. Um, and then we need to have the light purple cylinder, which is going to be the same deal. And I feel like I'm just drawing these worse and worse as I draw them more, but let me try to improve it just a little bit, okay. All right, so the small one, um, the height is going to be root of 1.343 and then that area is going to be once again pi r1 minus pi r2 squared that is so it's going to be pi times the bigger radius is 0 0.8 squared minus pi times uh, 0 0.6 squared and lastly we're going to have the yellow one so the yellow one's going to go um is going to go here and once more, it's going to have a hole drilled into it. And the height of that function is square root of 1.729. So square root of 1.729. And then times uh, pi, uh, the, the outer radius is 1. So pi times 1, right? Minus pi times 0 0.8 squared. Okay. So now we have the volume of all of these put together. We just need to sum them up, right? So um, let's sum these up. The first one is going to be pi times 0.2 times, um, times root 1.001, and then we're gonna add all of these together. Um, and once we do add them, let me just put this all together here in my calculator. So I'm gonna do V1 plus V2, plus, um, that is going to be the dark purple, let's see, plus um, V3 plus V4 plus V5. So if you guys add all that up, this should give you um, 3, 3.6, 807 and that's the volume that we get when we take this area um, we estimate it with the midpoint and we revolve it about the y-axis we're just adding up the volume of each of these cylinders